In this video we're going to work through a couple of examples that require us to use angle of elevation and angle of depressions to create right triangles and solve some problems. So before we solve these problems, uh, we want to figure out what an angle of elevation and angle of depression are. Well, both angles are going to be created from a horizontal angle. I'm sorry, horizontal line. So there's our horizontal line. Now, an angle of elevation is going to be an angle that opens upwards. So this angle right here is going to be an angle of elevation. Well, if that angle would have opened up downwards, like this, from that horizontal line, that would have been an angle of depression. The key thing with this is that these angles have to be created from a horizontal line for at least our situations here. Now, here's a trick. Um, as you can see, I just drew a big Z. Well, sometimes people use this to see our angle of elevation and angle of depressions. If you look at the bottom part of our Z, that's going to be our horizontal line, and it opens upwards like this. See that angle of elevation right there? Well, that's not the only thing that the Z shows. If you look at the top part of our Z here, that's going to be another horizontal line. And then that's going to show an angle that's opening up downwards. And that's going to be our angle of depression. So if you're ever struggling with this, just bring up a Z and you can see both types of angles. Okay. So now back to our example. It says that there's an angle of elevation from a boat to the top of a 90-meter uh, hotel is 10 degrees. How far is the boat from the base of the hotel? Well, the first thing that I want to do is draw my situation. So I'm going to make a boat here. There's a little sailboat. Uh, this is going to be the water. And then we get to the beach. And at the beach, there's going to be this big hotel. And that's going to be labeled H for hotel. And it's going to be, um, what, 90 meters, right? So the side of our hotel right here will say is 10 M for 10, I'm sorry, 90 meters. There we go. Okay, the angle of elevation here is going to be 10 degrees. So from our water and our sand and beach and everything here, that's going to be our horizontal line. And we're opening upwards like this. And we're going to create our angle of elevation here. It's going to just be going straight off like that. And we could label that as being 10 degrees. And the reason why I drew that line right there is that it creates a right triangle. Um, as you can see, for the hotel um, down to the ground, that would create 90 degrees. And you've got a right triangle right here. So the question is asking us to figure out how far th from uh, the base of the hotel is the boat. Well, that's going to be this side of our triangle. It's going to be down here from this corner to our boat right here, and that's going to be x. So I'm going to bring in Sokotoa to help us set up a trig ratio to figure out what this variable is. Now, to use Sokotoa, we've got to figure out, well, what sides are we using in this uh, right triangle? Is it the opposite side or hypotenuse or the adjacent? Well, the side that is opposite of 10 degrees is going to be the length of the hotel, which is 90 meters. So that's going to be our opposite side. Um, and then we're going to figure out that this x right here is our adjacent side because it's next to it. Um, we're not going to use the hypotenuse, which is up here. That's across from the 90. So we're just going to use x and our 90 here. So the opposite and the adjacent side. And the opposite and the adjacent side is going to be tangent. And here's the um, equation that we're going to use. It's tangent of 10 degrees equals our opposite side, which was 90, divided by our adjacent side, which was x. And I want to get x by itself. So to get that out of the denominator and by itself, so that's going to be x right there. I multiply the left side by an x as well. x over x goes away. And I'm going to rewrite everything. And now I have x times the tangent of 10 degrees equals 90. And I want to get rid of uh, the tangent of 10 degrees. So to undo that multiplication, I'm going to divide it out. So divide by tangent of 10 degrees. And tangent of 10 over tangent of 10 uh, is going to cancel out. That's just 1. 
and remember we have to mult I'm sorry divide the right side by tangent of 10 degrees as well so now we have x equals 90 divided by tangent of 10 degrees and that's going to be approximated to be about 510.4 and that was in meters so that's going to be the approximated distance of the boat to the base of the hotel okay in this example we have a person standing on a ledge and looking down at a lion so let's go ahead and start drawing out this picture and I'm going to first put down my ledge and I need a person on top of it and I was given that uh, from the person's head down to the ground that's going to be 4.2 meters so from the top of their head all the way down to the ground here that's going to be 4.2 well it also says that that person's looking at a line on the ground so let's draw out our ground here and let's say our line is over here okay that person's looking down at the line well imagine that we need to create our angle of depression here which is 24 degrees and we need our horizontal line so originally let's say that that person was looking off to the right here straight ahead there's our horizontal line and then I could make that angle of depressioning open up downwards in looking at that line I'll label that as 24 degrees and our question is asking us how far that person would have to walk from the base of the ledge right here to get to the line so from there to our line right here and we don't know what that is so I'll put an X and to figure out what this is uh, we're gonna have to call in trig ratios and to use trig ratios uh, which we'll call upon Sokoto as well uh, we need a right triangle so somehow we need to create one right triangle here. Um, there's two ways that you could do it. Um, there's one right triangle right here. And I'm going to draw this very quickly with our right um, angle right here. And it's almost like an invisible right triangle that just kind of happens in the sky. You'd be able to use that to solve or you'd be able to use another right triangle. That's going to be this brown right triangle here with the right angle going to be down here um, so because I have this brown one here let's just go ahead and use that um, we have this side being 4.2 we have this side being our X well we need an angle um, and our angle of depression was 24 degrees but right now that's on the outside of our right triangle so how are we gonna get this angle right here well we do know that this angle right here going downwards and then off to our right is going to be 90 degrees and if we take our 90 degree angle and subtract 24 from it we're going to be left with 66 degrees so that's going to be our angle right here 66 degrees and then we could use that to set up our trig ratio our um, sides that we have are well it's across from 60, uh, 66 degrees so that's going to be the opposite side and then this longest side here is the hypotenuse but we don't know what that is so we're not going to use it at all um, so that leaves us with this side over here so that's going to be our adjacent side so we have opposite and adjacent so opposite and adjacent is going to be tangent and I'm going to set up my trig equation so there's my equation we've got tangent of 66 degrees equals x over 4.2 and we want to get our x by itself so we need to knock out this 4.2 in the bottom that means we have to multiply the top part by 4.2 so that's going to go away and then this left side needs to get multiplied by 4.2 as well to keep everything balanced so we're left with 4.2 times tangent of 66 degrees that equals x and I'm going to use a calculator to get that answer and that's going to be an approximation uh, which will be about 9.4 and we are working with meters so it means that from the base of our ledge here uh, to the line it's going to be about 9.4 meters now remember I did say that you could use another triangle um, so if you're good with this explanation then you're all good but um, I'm going to erase some of this and, and just vaguely explain how you would use that other triangle that orange one that we made 
So there's the triangle, the orange triangle. And remember, we have our angle of depression here of 24 degrees, but now we could use our angle here if we, we went with this triangle. But we do have to shift some values. Um, we know that from the ground up to the top of this person's head is 4.2 meters. Well, we have to shift that whoops, all the way to the right side here. So now 4.2 is going to be this side of the triangle. And then we're going to shift this green unknown value of x from the bottom up here. And that's going to be that side of the triangle. So now we're going to use 24 degrees and realize that the opposite side is 4.2. And then the hypotenuse, we don't know. Um, so we're not going to use the hypotenuse. But we do know the adjacent side is going to be an x value. And we could set up um, a trig function using opposite and adjacent. So opposite and adjacent was already highlighted here. And I would make that um, tangent of 24 degrees, which would equal 4.2, which is the opposite side, divided by our x. And then you'd have to go ahead and solve this equation. But you would still get x equaling that 9.4 meters as a final answer.